we have installed esp idea in visual studio code that was the first step we did now we need to create a project for it so i'll be just opening a folder here i'm just creating my first folder click on new folder open it and select the folder so we just opened a folder within that we are going to create a project in order to create a project let's click on new and open the terminal now it is powershell we need to open idf or esp idf terminal it can be opened if you click on it esp idf explorer so we have just clicked on it right which means we have just imported the extension now if i give if i give idf.py they cannot identify what is idf.py because this terminal is windows terminal we need to open the esp idf terminal by just clicking on this this one open it so on the right hand side you can see that esp idf terminal is open if i give here idf.py they can identify what it is in windows terminal they cannot identify what is idf.py but here we have opened esp terminal so that's why it is identifying the command now let's create a project on it idf.py you can see here in just above related instructions here we need to create the project first of all create hyphen project so here while we are creating a project we need to give name for it i'll be just clicking on up arrow so that history will be visible now i'm just giving a name first so this will be my project name so here you can see a folder is open now i need to change my vs studio code location into that folder by change file open folder just click on the folder then open so within this folder you can see there is a by default main function is created and in bottom we need to configure the esp First of all the device has to be selected I am using a ESP32 room board so I'll be taking this one 32 so it is just setting up the target parallelly I'll be doing re remaining operations current project is this one here flash method I'm going to upload this program into my ESP board through a UART communication so just selected that as well So this is to flash the program. First of all, we need to write a program. Then we need to upload it. So then, let's see remaining these sections. So coming to the menu configuration. So we'll be getting SDK configuration editor. Now I'm not making any changes here. Just click on save and close. So a automatic file will be created here. So these are some basic files that just open. Now we need to add header files for it. Hash include. With the help of Reactors, we are writing the code. Reactors. But Reactors dot us. So we just added first library and second one. Hash include. Again. Priyatos bar task dot h and one more header file is required to control the GPIO. Drive bar GPIO dot h. 
so that's about adding the header first now let's go for default functions that is defined in ESP this is the reference manual for expressing so from here you can write any program for API or any section we can find so here I'm just going to do the basic configuration something like uh, configuring the pins as input or output first of all we need to make the pin as output so in order to set the pin as output we will be having a function here let's check it get level set direct so this is the function we are using for it we need to select the mode the modes are given here they are either mode disabled mode input mode output so we need to select any one of them so i'm going to make the pin as output only mode that is gpu mode output so let's go back to the function and let's copy so here we are going to set the direction for the pin number 2 so the first argument is pin number 2 comma then I need to make the pin as output so gpio underscore mode underscore output now let's cross check it so this is the function name gpu underscore mode underscore output let's copy it and paste it though so actually when i return the there was a mistake t is not present there so i'll be changing the function name iot put So the pin is configured as output then we need to write a program for blinking right so while one gpio underscore set underscore level within bracket the pin number comma zero number is 2 comma 0 task delay the function to give the delay so I'll be giving a thousand here and in the same way let's copy paste to comma so all done now let's save it just control s actually here we have written in the main function but in our course we will be writing the functions as a task Free autos, we have to define the we have to define the task like void the task name. I'll be giving the task one or let's go for blink. Blink is the name I am I have given within bracket void some star v parameters we can give that is the basic structure they given. I'll be just giving the void star name. So actually we need to write this program within this task the task is done so since it is a single task it will keep on executing continuously if you create this task we have just defined the task we need to create the task as well now to create the task x task create this is the function to create the task within bracket we need to first give the function location that is blink blink is our function name so i have just given the blink function then we can give some debugging name to this lady blink then the next thing is the size of task so i'll be giving a 2048 size for this task and the next one is
the argument to be passed here. Now I am not passing any argument so that I can give the null. And the priority, I will be giving the zero priority. That is the lowest priority. Then finally let's go for null to handle the task. So that's it. Now let's save it. So all done. The next step, we have to select the COM port. I have connected my device on COM port number 6 and ESP is already selected. The next step is building the project. Build the project. So let's see what's happening in the backend. View, terminal. Here ESP IDF is building our project. This will take some time. I will just fast forward it. So here finally we got an error that is uh, I cannot find any folder called new. This is the common error that everyone is going to face. This is nothing but when we created a project, the folder name is given the new space folder. Actually it is not supported. So I just close the VS code, otherwise we cannot edit the folder. So I'm just renaming it. If you want to separate, we have to use a underscore. That's it. Now let's open the VS code. So that folder is automatically closed. This is my folder, new underscore folder. I just open first, then select the folder. Now let's now let's build the projects. So here again problem with the same that location actually some files are already renamed like new space bin new space folder so the best thing i will do one thing i will create one more project let's or else let's do this one full clean so all the files are clean now here nothing nothing configuration files are there So here it is building. So here it is built successfully, the next step is uploading the code. So let's click on flash device, now click on the code, press reset button, now the program will start uploading. The flash done. Now it is waiting for hardware reset, let's reset the hardware. 